In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the operation of a thermostat. The thermostat does operate the furnace. The furnace does control your indoor air environment. When it comes to this thermostat, if I want to set up my time or my program, I do have to have my system in heat or cool. When I shut the system to off, I lose the option of the third box. We're going to play with heat. I have menu highlighted. In order for me to set up the time or to set up a program, I need to hit menu briefly, which will bring us to the second screen. From here we can set up our time or set up our schedule. To set up the time, I hit the time button, up and down for my hour selection. Time again, up and down for my minute selection. Time again, up and down for my day selection. When I am finished with the time, I hit the run, it will now bring you back to the main face. From the main face of this thermostat, when I am in a system heating, I will have a, a flame indicator. When I have system cool, I will have a snowflake indicator. Large digit in the middle of the thermostat is the actual temperature of your home. This home is now 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a battery indicator beside the large digit. When it gets down to two bars, it will begin to blink. You have two top loading AA batteries on the top of the thermostat. 9.24 a.m. Tuesday time and day of week. And then we have what's called your set temperature. Your set temperature is your program temperature. We're going to talk about programming next. First of all, heating is one program. Cooling or air conditioning is a totally separate program. What we're going to do is we're going to walk through the heating program at this point. When we talk about the heating program, we're going to discuss what we call an offset. What we mean by that is when you go to bed at night, or if the home is empty during the day, kids are gone to school, you're gone to work, you can always drop the temperature in the home during these periods of time to save money and energy during the winter months. I have system heating. Again, I have menu highlighted. We're going to hit menu briefly. Again, we'll bring us to the second screen. This time we'll be hitting the schedule button to set up your program. Schedule. What you have is what's called a five-day, two-day programmable thermostat. We do not program days individually with these thermostats. What you get are what are known as four time zones. Typically speaking, as people, we will get out of bed, go to work, come home, and go to bed. Now the first time zone they give me is 6 a.m. I am not stuck to 6 as a time zone. If I wanted to change the time in the heating program, I would hit the time button. It will now blink and I can change it in 15 minute increments. Again, as I was saying earlier, when I go to bed at night, I'm going to drop my temperature by a few degrees. That is how I will conserve or save money on energy. Typically, when I'm getting out of bed in the morning, what I would like to have happen, I would like my thermostat to activate my furnace 30 minutes before I get out of bed. It warms up my house for a half hour. I get out of bed 30 minutes later. We are nice and comfortable in the home. On a typical day, I normally get out of bed at 6 a.m. Because I'm dropping my temperature at night and I want my thermostat to activate the furnace 30 minutes earlier, I hit the time button. I am now going to drop it to 5.30. Time again will select the temperature that I want by 6 a.m. Now it's not going to be 71 at 5.30, but by the time I get out of bed at 6 a.m., my home will be nice and comfortable at 71. To get through the next scheduled time zones, I hit the schedule button. Second time zone, 8 a.m., or typically when people would be going to work. Here's where we can play with an offset. Now, because I'm using 71 as my warm-up temperature, I would use a 4-degree increment when I am not home, 67. That is the maximum that we recommend you use when it comes to your offset. Schedule 3, we're now walking in the door at 5. I normally get home at 6. Again, I want my thermostat to activate my furnace 30 minutes before I walk in the door, so I would be setting my time to 5.30. Again, will not be 71 at 5.30, it will be 71 at 6. Schedule 4, fourth time zone is what we call the bedtime setting. I normally am up till 11. I would set my thermostat to 11 p.m. And again, 71 to 62, that is too large of an increment when you think of the type of environment we live in. 67, the 4 degree increment I referred to earlier, works really, really good with that 30 minute warm up time. 
Monday to Friday has now been done on your program. When I want to schedule the weekend, I'm going to hit schedule a fifth time and we will do an additional four time zones for the weekend. Typically on my weekends, I like to get out of bed at 7. I would set my time to 6.30. 6.30, the furnace will come on, warm up the house to 71. Schedule 2, 8 a.m. Now typically, I'm going to have somebody home throughout the weekend. Whether I'm gone out shopping or my wife's gone to do groceries, my kids will be home, so typically someone will be home. We're going to maintain a constant 71 throughout the day. Schedule 3, 5 p.m., 71. Schedule 4 is where I'll change it. I'm going to bed. I hit time. I raise it to 11. Schedule to my desired temperature, again, which would be no more than 67. Now my heat program is done. When I want to escape the program through any sequence, I hit run. will bring us back to the main phase. Air conditioning has a little bit of a different concept, however. When I want to set up my air conditioning program, I'm going to go cool, again, have menu highlighted, hit menu briefly, bring us back to the second screen. Schedule, now we're into the air conditioning program. When it comes to the air conditioning program, we highly recommend that homeowners choose one temperature and leave it all summer. When it comes to air conditioning, it's not always about temperature, but more about humidity. So in the air conditioning program, I don't bother with the time what I'd like to do is make the one, the two, all the same temperature, three at 73 and four to 73. Monday to Friday is now done. Schedule a fifth time the weekend, 73, down to 73, 73, and down to 73. That is the most efficient use of your air conditioning system. When I want to exit the air conditioning program during any part of the sequence, I hit run, will bring us back to the main phase. Now what we're going to discuss next is what we call the features that are built into this thermostat. Again, I have to be in heat or cool to have menu highlighted. What I do with the menu button in this occasion, however, is I'm going to push and hold it for five seconds. The first feature that the thermostat is going to show you is what's called the programming feature. Right now the thermostat is defaulted with what we call a 5-day, 2-day. That is why it's called P2. You have the option of what they call a 5-day, 1-day, 1-day. What P3 will do is break up Saturday and Sunday as individual days. You have the option of P0. P0 is, means there is no program running whatsoever. You as a homeowner have to physically come over and manually make your changes. For most homeowners, the easiest method of programming will be P2. To cycle through the rest of the features, I hit the menu button. Cool savings. This is an energy savings feature designed for air conditioning. However, we are going to recommend that you leave it off. It is a feature that will periodically throughout the day shut off your air conditioning whether you want it to or not. Next feature, menu. Energy management already turned on. What this feature does, it makes this thermostat work as efficiently as it can with the furnace you have in the basement. Menu again, feature three. These are acronyms for cycle rates. The next two values I show you should never be changed. The cycle rate for heat will always stay at medium and the cycle rate for air conditioning should always stay at fast. Menu again. This is, feature is called compression lockout. I am going to turn this feature on. It is a safety tool in the event that either your air conditioning or your furnace is running and you experience a power outage at the same time. Typically what will happen is if your air conditioning is running and you experience a power outage, it will lock the unit into place and put a whole bunch of pressure on the system. With this feature now turned on, when the power does return to the home, you will not hear that piece of equipment start for at least 10 minutes. What it is doing is it's resetting itself for a fresh cycle. Next feature, menu again. Here is where you can change the parameters of your thermostat. In this feature, I will recommend we take auto out. Automatic is only good in the type of environment where I'm going to use heating at night and then air conditioning during the day. And let's face it, where we the environment that we live in, it's either too hot or too cold. 
So we do not need to keep the auto feature into the parameters. Menu again, backlight display feature already turned on. Every time you hit a button on the thermostat, the blue light will activate to show you what you're doing. Menu again. This is what we call a calibration tool. This is another feature that I recommend that homeowners do not play with. If for whatever reason a homeowner determines that the home temperature is not reading properly on the thermostat, then you call me at Webster's, we will come out and recalibrate the system. Menu again, Fahrenheit and Centigrade. You do have the option of either or. Last feature I need to show you, menu again, is what we call the change filter indicator. This is another feature that we do not recommend you use because the first thing you need to learn is how many hours a month your furnace runs in either a heating or cooling cycle. And let's face it, in the environment we live in, we're going to get one month that's super cold where your furnace will never shut off. You will get another month that's not so cold where it will never come on. So it really isn't an accurate indication to the homeowner as to when to replace the filter. That is it for the features menu. When I hit menu for the last time, it will bring us back to the main face. Last thing I would like to talk about, fan auto, fan on. This is a feature that will allow you to run your fan on a more consistent basis. And we highly recommend for homeowners to run their fan in an on position 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. There are a number of reasons why we recommend you run your fan on. First one, indoor air quality. If you are not passing the air through the furnace, you will not be dealing with any particulates or contaminants floating throughout the home. Second, humidity. In the Energy Star homes or the R2000 homes of today, humidity levels will rise. You will start to notice what we call sweaty windows. By running your fan on a more consistent basis, we'll control that humidity more evenly. The third issue we run into with fan on is to create a more equal balanced temperature from the second floor, the main floor, and the basement. The only way that you can create an equal balance of temperature is to allow your fan to move the air on a more consistent basis. <music>